Hi everybody and welcome to Grimsby Praise for Thursday November the 5th. I'm so glad that you've taken the time to join us. If you would like to connect with me please send an email to grimsbypraise at gmail.com. That's a great place where you can share prayer requests or uh, maybe you've got a question or uh, some good news you want to share. I'd love to hear from you grimsbypraise at gmail.com. Also, if you haven't done so, please click the subscribe button to this channel. We post new content every day and by subscribing, uh, you'll get to know what kinds of things we share, uh, things that are encouraging and helpful to you. During the month of uh, November, uh, also called uh, known as Movember, as uh, we focus on uh, men's health issues, we started this earlier in the week, and uh, periodically throughout the month, we'll we'll take a look at uh, some of the these issues. Um, and today, I want to read uh, three verses from uh, Psalm 27, the last three verses of the Psalm, um, verses 12 through 14, and I'll read these, and we'll. Uh, Think about these in just a moment. God's word says this. Do not abandon me to my enemies who attack me with lies and threats. Certainly I will live to see the Lord's goodness to his people. Trust in the Lord. Have faith. Don't despair. Trust in the Lord. Thanks be to God for this truth from his holy word. So we talked uh, earlier in the week about uh, physical health and the importance of taking care of our bodies, and that's an act of worship. Today, it's important to think about our emotional health. And uh, sometimes as uh, as men, uh, we just pretend everything is fine. We say, oh, I'm, I'm okay, I'm fine. Uh, don't worry about me. Or we just kind of slough things off like they, they shouldn't uh, affect us. But uh, deep down inside, uh, whether we would admit it or not, we do have feelings. Feelings that uh, can get hurt. Uh, feelings that uh, can... Uh, motivate us to do things that are uh, not helpful uh, or uh, are not good. Also, they, they inspire us to do things uh, that are good and that are, um, are loving and that are uh, really uh, life affirming. The psalmist uh, in uh, these verses uh, <clears throat> is very fearful that maybe they will uh, feel like they are abandoned. They're they're afraid of being uh, left all alone. Uh, the the psalmist seems to feel uh, a, a bit vulnerable, uh, and as Ben, sometimes uh, we don't like to put ourselves in this situation. If we are in a situation where we might feel vulnerable, we might shy away from it or say, "Oh, that never happens to me. I'm tough. I'm fine. Um, I'll get over it." But the truth is, each one of us at some points throughout our own journey. Uh, it feels vulnerable, whether that's uh, through a time of illness, whether that's through a time of, of loss, whether that be uh, employment or family, um, uh, all these things that uh, can cause us a lot of uh, grief or stress or worry. And um, the psalmist says that they don't want to be abandoned. But the next thing that uh, we find in this passage is that the psalmist says that you know I will see the God's people experiencing his goodness and its fullest potential so through this time of despair um, the uh, the psalmist is looking ahead to see uh, and trusting that God's hand is at work through this difficult situation uh, that the, the writer is in. And the same is true uh, for each of us in any sort of situation that's difficult, uh, that God's hand is at work in, in that difficulty, in uh, the hardship. Uh, God's hand is there guiding us through it. We're not exempt from trouble, but uh, God's hand and, and our faith in Christ gives us a lens through which we can uh, see our way through the trouble and uh, see our way into uh, places of life in abundance. So finally, we come to uh, <clears throat> verse 14, and the uh, psalmist writes, Trust in the Lord. Have faith. Don't despair. Trust in the Lord. So we might be in a time of despair, but we're, again, challenged and encouraged to, to not just 
stay in despair, but to trust in the Lord to lead us through those times of despair. When we are in times of despair, uh, it leads to feelings of isolation, maybe of sadness, of heavy heartedness. Um, all these things are part of the human condition and it's okay to feel that way sometimes. That's uh, that's human. That's that's normal. Um, but it's what we do in these situations, and um, and it's in these situations that we can learn to trust God's provide provision and guidance um, through this situation that we are in. Um, and if you feel like uh, you need to reach out and, and talk to somebody, please do. There's no shame in that. There's a lot of uh, a sense of ownership of your own direction in that when you say hey you know what I just need someone to talk to I need someone to share the, these thoughts with um, you know just uh, just reach out our, our uh, telephone numbers in the video description if you need to have someone to chat with you can give us a call and we'll call you back send an email I'm happy to get back to you as well uh, so uh, let us take a moment now and we will pray together loving and gracious God we uh, Thank you for the reality and the rawness of the Psalms and that we see that people, uh, especially in this Psalm, uh, the writer is in a vul vulnerable state, in a place where they're feeling uh, stressed out, where they're concerned about the future. Uh, Lord, this is an, a normal part of the human condition that uh, we can feel this way at times. And we pray for those who are in this kind of a situation where maybe they're feeling alone. Maybe they're feeling like they've got a million questions and no answers. Uh, maybe it feels like the weight of the world is on their shoulders. Lord, we pray for strength for these people who uh, are dealing with grief. Maybe they've lost a loved one or a job uh, or their living situation has changed. Um, uh, Lord, we pray that you would provide comfort to them. Uh, through your people, that uh, that your words would bless them and uphold them and sustain them and give them courage. Uh, Lord, help uh, these folks to find their direction and their identity in you, uh, and that uh, identity is one of uh, of hopefulness, of uh, being reconciled and healed um, and made whole uh, through the the power of Christ. God. We thank you uh, also that you are in these difficult situations with us. And um, right now, uh, we just uh, bring to mind, and I'm going to leave some space. And if there are some individuals that you know of, um, as you pray along with me today, who are in a difficult spot, uh, please name them. Lord, you know these uh, friends and family members that uh, we've uh, shared with you, and you know the situations that, that are there. Lord, speak to us and uh, enable us to find ways to reach out to them in loving and passionate ways, and um, really open up their uh, their hearts uh, to, to receive help from you, that they don't feel uh, so on their own, that they too uh, maybe are feeling despair, but don't get stuck there, that they can um, move forward in a way that uh, affirms life and hope uh, and that they can find courage to do so. Lord, we pray all these things in the loving, wonderful name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us for Grimsby Praise today. I look forward to gathering with you tomorrow. Until then, be safe, be healthy, be blessed, and go in peace.